Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 30 minute upper body giant set workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells, whatever you have, grab them. For reference, I have a pair of 20s, 15s, 10s, and 5s. Uh, grab whatever you have. And then you're also going to need a mat. All right, so here's today's format. We have a giant set. So we have four exercises at a time. We'll perform each exercise for 60 seconds each. So that's gonna be four minutes of total work time. We'll get a 30 second recovery before moving on to a new block. So four minutes of total work time, that's gonna be pretty demanding. We'll, we will be switching it up. We'll either switch muscle groups. We'll be doing like a drop to make it more doable throughout the block. But if needed, you can always drop the weight selection at any point as well. This format is non-repeat, so once we hit an exercise, unless it's unilateral, we're not going to see it again. Um, let's see, dumbbells. I'll tell you what weight selection I'm using, but just remember you and I are different. So find a weight selection that is challenging for you. Make quality reps. All right, so here's how your screen is going to look. With about 15 seconds to go, you'll see the demo up in this upper hand corner. Once you hear that ding, we've moved on. Up in this corner will be the current uh, block that we're on. So I'll have the four exercises right there. Below that will be the clock or the timer. All right, fair warning, this one's gonna burn. It's going to fatigue your muscles. You're going to question yourself, but it's it's a challenge. It's the challenge that we want. So y'all, enough of me talking. Let's grab all your stuff and let's get going. All right, our first block is our warm up block, but we're making it burn. All right, grab your lightest weight selection. I'm gonna grab a pair of five pound dumbbells. We're gonna going to start with a dumbbell six way. Really control the movement. Then we drop to a four way raise, followed by lateral raise, followed by some partials, all right? So we're just dropping this, it's going to burn. Our target here is mainly uh, the medial delt, but we will be hit hitting anterior and rear during the six ways. Okay, so I'm grabbing fives. This begins your workout. We go in three, two, and one, dumbbell six way. Control it, core stays tight. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. When you bring that dumbbell um, out to the side, make sure it's slightly in front of the body, just so we can target the medial delt a little bit better. So just slightly in front of the body. We go directly into a four-way raise in three, two, and one. Now it's one, two, three, and four. It's burning. Rest and pause as needed. It's our warm-up. Happy warm-up. Warm-up, but make it burn. We go to lateral raises in three, two, and one. Add a pause at the top. So hold here, control it down. Good.
Next up, we have lateral raise partials. It's about a quarter of the movement, maybe half at the bottom. Keep the arms locked out, so elbows stay locked out, and you're going out and then up. Again, I want you to feel it in the outer portion of your delt. So this will bias, this path right here biases that a little bit more, more so than this, which will, you may feel your traps that way. It's burning. Last three, two, and one. Wow. <laughs> How was that for a warm up? Now we're going to a pool block, okay? I'm gonna start with a 20 pound weight for my neutral grip rows. So I'll, we'll be doing uh, one side then the other. Then I'm gonna drop it to 10, 10 pounds for our final two exercises at this point. I'm gonna do my right side first, stagger stance. We're here, drive it towards the hip, three, two, and one on the way down. We switch sides in three, two, and one. Switch sides. Next exercise, I'm gonna to drop to these 10 pound weights. We have straight arm rows, hip hinge position. All right, so this may be new to you. We're right here, so same motion, lighter weights. Keep the arms straight as we take the same path. So back and then up, core stays tight. Elbows go back, up towards the hips. So this is going to target your lats. We have a plank pull through. We'll only use one of these dumbbells. High plank position on your hands. In three, two, and one. Set one of those dumbbells down. Okay, I'm gonna start with the dumbbell off to my left side, so to the outside of my left hand. Wide stance, core stays tight. Shift the weight into the left hand. Use the right hand to grab that dumbbell. Pull it through, replace the hand. Reach underneath the body, pull that dumbbell through replace the hand. We're also working on anti-rotation of the hips, so try not to do that. 
keep the hips as tight as possible and you'll do that if you keep the core tight. If needed as an option, come down to your knees. Last three, two, and one. Nice, all right, 30 second break. Then we're on to new block. We have a unilateral hybrid upright row to a press through this block of these 15. We'll see you though, I'll adjust as needed and you can do the same thing. Hybrid upright row, so go in a little circular path, then we press it up. Core stays tight. And notice when I'm pressing, my elbow is in front of the body and it's not to the side or behind. That's gonna be more friendly. My shoulder. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Switch sides. Up, we're gonna grab that other dumbbell and we have half mutual full thrusters in three, two. Let's grab that other dumbbell, start with the neutral grip, use the lower body to drive it up. Three, two, and one. It's not even a half thruster. It's like a baby thruster. Just barely use the legs to drive it up. Keep your core tight, don't let your hips swing forward. Next up, we have body weight commandos, high to low plank, whatever you wanna call it. Place those dumbbells down. We start in our high plank position. Wide stance, also working on anti-rotation of the hips. We drop it down, right forearm, left forearm, right hand, left. Next time, it's left, right, left, right. As a modification, I kinda need it, is drop it to your knees.
last three, two, and recover. All right, next block, triceps. Pretty sure I'm gonna be using uh, tins for these, so we'll see how it goes. Break, and then one arm at a time. Tricep extensions, core stays tight. One side, then the other. Let's go. Hinge at that elbow, feel stretch along your tricep, and then press it back up. Try not to let those wrists go all over the place. Wrists stay locked in place as well. Other side, let's switch and then we go. I can't live without your love for sure. Next up, we have tricep push-ups. We'll come to the ground, release that dumbbell in three, two, and one. Set that dumbbell down, get back in your high plank position. Now, elbows will stay in tight to the body to target your triceps. This is gonna hit your chest as well. So we just take it down, feel the stretch, bring it up, normal tempo here. Rep it out, but control it. And of course, the option will be to drop to the knees. Still very challenging. We come to your back in three, two, and one tricep extensions. Let's try to use the same weight we just did, uh, but this time bilateral, and we're going to lie on our back. Really control it, because the dumbbells are going to go to the outside of your head as we hinge from the elbows, and then bring it up. So feel the stretch along the triceps, and then press. Last three, two, and one. Wow, awesome work. Okay, 30 second break. And now we are going to be hitting some back and biceps. Fifteens, fifteens. Let's try it. I may have to drop down. 
YOLO. Okay, here we go. Bicep supinated grip slow. One count up, one count pause. Three, two, one. We gon' break up, then we make up. Act like we're gonna be friends. There's the fire, take me higher. Leave it all over again, all over again. Break up, then we make up. Act like we're gonna be friends. There's the fire, take me higher. Leave it all over again, all over again. Leave it all over again, all over again. We go to a pronated hip hinge row. Let's go, so hinge from the hips, core stays tight. We're flaring the elbows out now to target upper back and then bring it down. Up, we have a super challenging exercise to jump back plank to a uh, plank row. So you can step back as needed. Set the dumbbells down on your mat. We jump back wide stance like we've been doing. We row right, we row left, we jump back in, curl it, and then we do it again. Now your option here is to step if you also find this super uncomfortable on your hands, you can do one dumbbell at a time, place your hand on the mat. We get to go to our back, <laughs> release one of those dumbbells. We have a lat pullover. Let's get set first. So arms fairly straight, soft bend in the elbows, but from there we're not bending anymore. Reach the dumbbell behind the head, reach, 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 and then pull it up. So our target here is now the lats, not the triceps. So if you start to hinge from the elbows, you'll feel it in the triceps. Now we're trying to target your lats. can see I flip my dumbbells so I'm holding it uh, horizontally now just so my uh, range of motion is increased since I'm not on a bench in CH last three two and one wow nice work Take a little breather. Wow, okay. This next one is, is one of my favorite ways to either start or end my workout. But we have two more blocks. Uh, so we're not ending with this one, but this one's gonna burn, so go light. I'm gonna use five pounds. It's all about, we're going to target the entire head of the delt here. One by one. All right, five pounds. Lou raises her first, so supinated grip. We're just, you may know these as around the world. Um, exercises have different names. I've heard one exercise by like five names. I don't care what it's called, I care how you do it and how you execute it. So right now, we're controlling it up. Don't let the shoulders rise towards the ears and bring it down. Really good full range of motion. 
targeting the entire head of the Dell. Next up, we have front raises. Get right into it. About eye level. Flip from neutral to pronated. Up, we have lateral raises. We're going to aim for a one to a quarter rep that is at the top. So let's go. So we bring it up, pulse, bring it down. Hey, what I say without even speaking. My compass is off. Why did I choose you? I'm just too lost. I need to cut loose. I keep it in my head. I keep it locked away. My friends think that this is over. Guess it's the price I pay Played with the enemy Now I got you on my shoulders Let go and let me love Let me let go and let me love Let me let go and let me love Let me let go and let me I know it's burning y'all This is lightweight We got this Rest right here Rep it out We can do this Come on Tell yourself you can Don't talk yourself out of it we have reverse flies. We're going to hinge from the hips, target the back of the delts. Let's go. So soft elbows, and now we're just repping it out. Normal tempo. I'll give you a different view. Last three, two, and one. Wow. On to our final block. <laughs> and we're going to hit some chest. So I'm going to grab my heaviest dumbbells for the chest press, and then I'm going to drop it to tens for my chest fly. And then we have, oh gosh, body weight push ups followed by uh, shoulder taps. Bring it to your mat. It's gonna be a little dead stop chest press. So semi pronated grip, about a 45 degree angle. Press it up, control it down. Let me love again. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great. But sorry, there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. Not looking for no, no, no. Heaven or go, cause I got you. I got you. Don't wanna show. Oh, oh. Show us off, but show my heart. All that I need, I'm trying to sugar cold, but I'm flying so high. I don't even know if I'm coming down. You wrap. 
it out for a lighter set of dumbbells. We have chest flies. Go ahead, bring yourself up. I'm gonna change it out to some tens. So just like that uh, motion we had during the reverse flies, same motion, except now we're going to target chest in the front portion of the belt. Like we go around a beach ball and then hug it in. should feel a really big stretch along the chest front of the delts and then after that we squeeze it in on the contraction oh, next up we have push-ups <laughs> we're gonna make them fun we'll release those dumbbells in three two in one release those dumbbells off to the side let's get into our high plank position all right off the knees for the eccentric as we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, press it up. So we're off the knees on the eccentric, really slow. Knees down, and then up on the concentric. Now if needed, you can do both on the knees. I don't even know if I'm coming down. You wrap my bow when you hold me so tight. The world just disappears in front of my we're not done we have plank shoulder taps let's take a breath because i need it okay now we're back Ooh, come on this is it wide stance and now we tap one shoulder at a time. Try to limit, or limit, excuse me, the hips moving as much as possible. You're going to want to. Turn this into a rest pause set. So my, my body is shaking right now. So if needed, you can come out of it, rest, take a few breaths, and then get right back into it with me. Or without me. In 10 seconds, we're going to end with a 30 second RKC plank hold. We come to the forearms. In three, two, and one forearms. All right, so we're here. Now, core is tight. I want you to push the mat away from you with the forearms. Heels are reaching towards the back of the wall. Head is reaching forward. Squeeze the quads, squeeze the glutes. Keep the core tight. Draw it up and then in. Push the mat away. Head reaches forward, heels reach behind. Everything should be engaged. The whole body is on fire. Hold. Last three, two, and one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was really, really, really challenging. So uh, however far you got, if you got through the whole thing and it was a piece of cake, that was super challenging for me. A uh, nice work either way. Okay, we're in Cobra, so let's just get a stretch. But let's make it active so we're not just uh, hanging out in it. I want you to push the mat away. Heart reaches forward. Core stays tight. Ooh. All right, bring it to the ground. Release. Go to the hands. Let's take it a little farther. Big deep inhale as we exhale we're gonna come down and we're going into very intense shoulder stretch so go into it slow I'll actually take you to the um, less intense version first so we're on the ground arm goes out to the side go into it really slow because this is still super intense and we're just uh, playing around with it until we get a, can get a big stretch along your chest and along the anterior portion of your delt this is a great stretch to do if we deal with upper cross syndrome, thoracic kyphosis, or that forward facing head posture, like we all do due to cell phones, computers, driving, 
feels good. All right, you can hang out right there, or if you wanna take it a step farther, bring your arm to a 90 degree position. You will not be going as far. Very deep stretch here. And when you're ready, oh, let's take it to the other side. If your body was just like, wow, what is that? <laughs> what, is, what is this stretch? Why is everything tight? This is probably a stretch we should do a little bit more often. You could also do this standing on a wall. Okay, so you can hang out right here or 90 degrees with the elbow, but then you're not going as far, but a wow, huge stretch. All right, slowly come out of it. Press off until you're in a tabletop position or quadruped position. Keep the hips stacked over the knees and walk the hands out when you can walk them no more. Let the head rest so we're getting a big stretch along your lats. Then if you wanna take it one step farther, you can bring the hands together, bring it behind the head, and maybe get into the triceps as well. Slowly release. Now we're gonna come into child's pose, but we're gonna walk the right hand on top of the left and then send the hips back. So just getting a little side body stretch here and into the hips. And when you're ready, let's take it to the other side. Left hand on top of right. Both hands back to the center. Let's draw it on up. Nice work. Meet me in a nice, easy seat. Good job today. Okay. Inhale up. As we exhale, open up. Let's do that twice more. Inhale up. Exhale, open. Last time, inhale up. And exhale, open. Nice work today, y'all. As long as you tried your best. That's all that matters. This was super challenging. Let me know what you would like to see in the comments below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tag me in your posts and stories on IG at Laurie Midka, Facebook, Fit by Laurie, and... I think that's all I have to say for today. Okay, so your love and support always means the world. Please know that. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.